new car. <laughs> I'm getting a new car today. <laughs> hey guys, okay. I wanted to pick up the camera and vlog today because today is, I'm gonna explain more in a second here. I'm heading to get Starbucks, but today is like the first day on my moving to Florida journey that I'm doing like my first step in being able to live there. I am buying a new car today. I should preface new to me car. I'm buying a used car, but yeah, I'm getting a brand new, like the newest car that I've ever owned. I've only ever owned this car that I'm sitting in right now, which is my Herbie, my Volkswagen Beetle, which I love so much. It served me well, but um, it, to me, I didn't feel like it was sustainable to bring it to Florida. I wanted something a little more reliable, something that I felt safer in. So I've started this journey of wanting to buy a new car and um, that's happening today, it looks like. So I'm gonna explain more. I'm gonna go get my Starbucks and we're gonna have a little car chat, but that's what today's video is all about. This is, I told you guys, we're gonna document this whole journey. This is like the first thing that I'm doing that's like I'm moving to Florida thing like something that I need to be able to live there you know I need a good car yeah it's happening <laughs> I, I can't like I'm just on such a high right now because I'm feeling like it's happening like I think this car to me is like symbolizing the first like tangible thing that's like my new life in Florida like the next chapter of my life you know like that I know that that's the car that I'm gonna have on this journey like you know what I mean so it, it's just really it's one of those moments that like it's sinking in right now okay Starbucks acquired today I went with a venti shaken espresso which has been like my new favorite thing from Starbucks I love these and I got it I treated myself to the vanilla sweet cream cold brew that goes on top yeah this has been like my go-to favorite drink recently I figured you know today I gotta treat myself I'm buying a car today and it's not every day that you buy a car, you know? It's just one of those things that you need to treat yourself and yeah, it's gonna be an exciting day today. Let's go ahead and drive home and then we'll have some car talk and I'll fill you guys in on like what type of car I'm getting, my thought process behind it and the details of like moving to Florida with this car and like how all of it like plays into the ultimate moving to Florida plan because like that's the real exciting details, right? That's what we're excited to talk about today. And I have to document this just for my future self to look back on. Something I'm so excited about in a new car is gonna be to have cup holders that are not these Volkswagen Beetle cup holders because look, this is like, this, okay, a venti cup actually fits in there. That's kind of shocking, but they're so shallow that most things like if I go around a corner, like tip out. And um, a standard water bottle does not, like I really cannot make it fit back there. Like I'm kind of shocked that this actually, this fit, of course, when I'm trying to demonstrate to you the issues I have with these cup holders, it's like, oh, look, it can fit. But no, trust me, these things slide out too. I don't know why they're designed like that, that the whole cup can lift out. But yeah, it's like I would go around a corner and just like the whole thing would just fly off with whatever drink I have, the amount of times I've spilled coffee in this car. Can't even tell you. So yeah, I always gotta drive, like kind of keep holding it. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> but later today, I'm gonna have nice new cup holders. Yay. Okay guys, I am back home now and we can start having a little car and coffee chat here in the car. This is really good. Okay, <laughs> so this was my last little like jaunt. I decided also to go get coffee because this is my last little jaunt here in my Herbie, the love bug. That is the name for this car. I'm gonna need a name for the new car. Yeah, this car that I have, my little silver Volkswagen Beetle here has been my Herbie car. Okay, so let's talk now like get down to it of like why I decided I wanted to get a new car, kind of why I started this whole process and um, kind of how it plays into this being like the first step in me moving to Florida. So obviously when I'm going to be living in Florida for my Disney college program, my neighbors are all driving by probably wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> so I've always been interested in wanting to bring a car with me to my college program, but now I'm actually exploring the idea of not living in the college program housing, but getting my own apartment with my friend um, in Orlando. And that's like a whole other video for a whole other day to kind of talk about my decisions in that and what I'm planning to do with my living accommodations with my move. But if I would do that option, it's like then absolutely like you have no other way to get to work. Like you need to have your own transportation. You probably should have a car. With that being said, 
the car I'm currently sitting in here, my little Herbie the Love Bug, um, is a 2001 Volkswagen Beetle. I love this car. I'm a big fan of Volkswagen. I mean, they are good cars. They run. That's what they always say every time I take it into the shop. They're like, Volkswagens are good. Like, they will just keep going. Um, and that's the way this car has been. And it's been really good to me. I've had this since I turned 18. This is my very first car that I ever got. This is my first car I've ever owned is this Volkswagen Beetle that I'm sitting in. I feel like it served its purpose for like living around here. This car has been perfect for exactly what I needed to just to get from point A to point B on like little jaunts. And I mean, it's a good car, but just for me personally, taking something like this on the highway, like even the bigger highways around here, scares me like i just don't like it, it's and this is just like a me thing it's just like a personal preference thing like i don't like that feeling of being like low to the ground and i don't know like i've just like felt like i would feel so much more confident and comfortable safe driving in something that's bigger has you know more boldness to it also for like just the purposes of like i've fit friends in the back of this car before <laughs> Um, there's no doors in the back. This is a two-door car, so it's like, you know, you have to collapse the seats and, like, people slide in. And, um, the most people we've had in this car is, I think, five people, um, which is the max of what it fits. So, like, you can cram people in here, but it's so tight. It is so tight. It's just not really, like, you know, good for, like, traveling and wanting to, you know, go do day trips or long weekend trips or, you know, things that I'm going to be wanting to look to do when I live in Florida. Also, for the move down, could you think about trying to put suitcases and boxes and things in this car? Like, it, it just would not, it wouldn't work. I've been wanting to buy myself a new car. Now, with my move to Florida, it's like that process has just kind of like accelerated that I like know like I need it now. Now to talk about what car I'm getting and kind of how it came about in this way. Starbucks at first. Okay, when I knew I needed a new car, you know, I kind of started the process of looking my parents are really good with this type of stuff and like looking into cars and everything we have a family friend who is a dealer so like you know we have some resources like that so they kind of started being on the lookout and right now i'm sure everybody knows like cars and used cars are at a premium right now it's just the way the world is at the current moment and everything is expensive um cost of living is expensive houses are expensive um cars are expensive it just is how it is with that being said a lot of what we were seeing it seemed like there was better deals down in florida so that was kind of something that we started playing around with the idea of my parents would move me down to florida in one of their cars and then when we were there, like we would go a week before my program would begin and we would be looking to purchase a new car in Florida. So that was kind of on our mind for a bit, but that comes with a lot of obstacles of like, it really is then crunch time. Like I'm gonna need to start working and you know, needing transportation and I need to have a vehicle. So that started to kind of be like, a, oh my gosh, like that would be kind of stressful. So my mom, actually yesterday found the car that I am looking to purchase today. It's from the dealership that my parents have bought many um, cars and used cars from before. Like I said, one of the dealers there is actually like a personal family friend that my parents know. They trust him. Um, he's been very honest and open with them in the past about things. And this particular car that we found my mom found it on their website it was exactly what i was looking for like the model of car that i was looking for so i'll reveal that in a moment and the price surprisingly was in my opinion very reasonable and a very good deal for just the specs how well it's been maintained everything it's a 2014 car so much much newer than the car that i currently drive it had a really good like you know the carfax like sheet and everything everything has like really checked out on it so my dad was actually down towards the dealership yesterday and he went he test drove it said he loved it said it was awesome he talked with the guy that we know there the guy told him he said it's a good car he had like just a bunch of really positive things to say about it. it's a good car it checks out it you know everything about it it's a really good deal so we feel really comfortable and confident about 
this decision. I'm thrilled with it. And yeah, it's definitely, it's in my budget of what I was looking to spend on the car. I just really am shocked that we were able to find it because it's very difficult to find used cars right now. It's very hard just to find cars in general right now. And so to find one that I feel good about the price and so you know we found the price and then you do have to still do the song and dance of course you always have to do the song and dance and see if they could bring it down even more anything like that which we really were not expecting because like I said they really didn't have many used cars on the lot and it was already a very good deal they did not budge on the price but they were able to give me extra on my trade-in for this guy right here which I am very appreciative of because I I don't think that this car is worth that, but um, what they're going to give me for it, I mean, I appreciate that. I think that's their way of, you know, how they're able to crunch the numbers to kind of give it a better package deal. So I'm all about that. And yeah, I'm buying a new car today. I can't believe it. I'm, it's not set in stone yet. I still got to go. I haven't yet seen the car with my own two eyes. I've seen the pictures. My dad test drove it, said that he likes it a lot. So I have a feeling I'm going to love it, but yeah. So if everything goes good today, I already called my insurance. I handled like all those details. So we're going to be good to go to get a new car today. It's crazy. So yeah. So this is going to be like the next chapter of life and like my car that I'm going to, oh, there goes the school bus. <laughs> this will be like my car that I'm going to have in Florida. I can't even, I can't even imagine. Okay, so enough rambling and telling you guys the whole backstory and everything, but now we're gonna go ahead and I need to clean this car out. I really don't have much in this car. That's the other thing too, like I said, like it's gonna be so nice to be able to have like a console and everything. Oh my gosh, yes, I haven't even said what type of car I'm getting. Okay, I'll get to that. Um, It's gonna be so nice to just be able to like, yeah, have shopping bags or groceries and like set them in a back seat. Cause like right now I really don't have much of like a back seat. There's like some trunk space, not much. There's like a tiny back seat, not much. Like I feel like I drive a Barbie car. Like that's literally, which is why like, I, you know, I actually had growing up, I had little toy Barbie Volkswagens like for my Barbie dolls and I always dreamed of having a car like this and this was my dream car for a while honestly when I was 16 you know 18 years old when I got this car this was my dream car I wanted to have a Volkswagen I wanted something little and compact but now like as I'm going on this new journey and I'm going to be traveling and I'm gonna be living in a bigger city um it's not my dream car anymore and today I'm gonna be getting like the model dream car that I want. Okay so you guys ready to hear what type of car I'm getting? I am getting a SUV. <laughs> it, you know it's crazy to think I'm going from such a tiny like teeny tiny little car that if you've ever driven a Volkswagen Beetle like they are they're tiny they're low to the ground they're it's a small car. I'm going from this to a compact SUV which is exactly what I wanted. I knew I wanted something that I felt sitting up that I was like, you know, going to be sitting up off the ground more and just felt like a little bit bigger, boxier. And that's exactly what I'm getting. I am looking at getting a Hyundai Tucson, the 2014 Hyundai Tucson. And the color of it is gorgeous. It's like a bronze type color, like a bronze coppery color. It's kind of like metallic. I love it. It looks amazing. So I'm excited to drive it. But just the space that it has, the way it just feels like I can just tell it looks very sturdy. Um, it's an SUV. Like that's what I was looking for. I wanted an SUV. Yeah. So I'm just very shocked that like the exact model of a type of car that I want is like in reach now. And I might be driving it home today. <laughs> All right, now it's time to clean out the car. <laughs> was my very first car that we were saying goodbye to today. <laughs> so let me show you guys. I've pretty much cleaned out everything inside. You can see where we had to do repairs on like things that have fallen off and my dad makeshifted, you know, that. And like when I was cleaning out the glove box here, I now completely emptied 
the glove box, I um, found like a bunch of like just things that were like little random ports that have like fallen off and everything. Yeah, like excuse how dirty this is, but this is like what a Pennsylvania winner will do to a car if you do not constantly vacuum it after getting in and out of it when it's all gross outside. But I've made sure I have everything out of everywhere. I have to get things out of the trunk. I feel like my dad had some boxes back there or something that um, I needed to get out. But I think other than that, I'm pretty much like cleared out of all this stuff. I gotta take my little covers off. I don't know if I will um, put these necessarily in the new car. I feel like these are kind of like um, a little bit too like, I don't know, they're fun, but I feel like they're kind of, they are definitely Floridian. But I don't know, I feel like this was like my dream looking car as a um, 18 year old, but I don't know if it's my style now. It is Floridian though. So I, I'm definitely gonna take them off and, and you know, keep these. <laughs> okay, so I cleaned out the trunk and close this now. And I have, this is kind of sun faded, but here's my, I always rep my Walt Disney World sticker right there. We might have to just put this on the new car just for, just for kicks, but. Additionally, of course, I have my Minnie Mouse little antenna topper here. Okay, maybe I won't be keeping this. <laughs> I tried to take it off. It was like almost like sun faded and like melted, kind of crusted on to the car and the magnet broke apart. So there's that. But yeah, this is kind of a fun time to tell this story. So a fun memory with this car is like, I've always been, you know, obviously like known in my town as like the Disney person. Like that's how me and my family are like seen by everybody. So, you know, I've always rocked my Minnie Mouse antenna topper, the like Disney, you know, some type of Disney magnet sticker always was on my car. Actually, when I was working last year at the preschool, I had a little girl who referred to like my car as like the Minnie Mouse car. One day her mom told me, so the little girl asked her mom, she was like, is that Minnie Mouse's car? And then, um, <laughs> She was like, no, that's Miss Megan's car. And then like, she was like, well, that would be Miss Megan's car. Cause like, like everyone, all the kids like knew I was like Disney, like I was the Disney person. So yeah, with this new car, I'm gonna have to like deck it out in some way. With Disney, I actually have upstairs and I've never, broken it out yet like i never replaced uh, my Minnie mouse antenna topper ever with it but i have an orange bird antenna topper i feel like because this car is kind of like that bronze like color like orange kind of like goes and i feel like orange bird is just like the symbol of like florida and something floridian basically maybe i could even just call the car orange bird that's a possibility. I'm gonna post on my Instagram later. I wanna like ask for name suggestions. I've already thought about that. But yeah, I definitely want some type of a Disney name. Like this one was Herbie, obviously, cause it was a Volkswagen Beetle, but, and that, you know, is Disney, um, Disney related. So I need something Disney for my new car. We're here, Mom. We're gonna buy a car. Can I get a new, <laughs> I'm gonna buy a new car. car? I'm so nervous. A new Probably. used car. <laughs> a new used car. I know. I earlier, I was like, prophecy. I'm like, it's a new to me car. Yes. But yeah. Right now, I said it's like the countdown. You know, we just pulled in. They're about to like come out like vultures and like swarm the car. But we know the one. I was saying earlier. We yeah, know we the gotta one get guy. to our friend. We gotta get to our friend. <laughs> we'll be good to go. But like, yeah. It was my last time driving this car, probably yeah, ever. It's it crazy. It's a good car too. It was for a good you. Car. Yeah, we yes. like the bug. <laughs> yeah, I have to get my mini mouse topper off the top too. That was the only thing because okay. I wasn't tall enough to reach it. But okay, <laughs> here we go. Just one last look at the inside. Yeah, let's turn it off here. This is the thing I love having the little vase in the Volkswagen. I always thought that was so cute. At one point, I had those artificial flowers in there, but yeah, then they just got in the way all the time. But okay, let's go in and do this. I got a brand new car. <laughs> It's a nice one. It is a nice one. I love it. She's beautiful. Yay. Open it up. Open it up. Okay. Give it to her. Here it is. <laughs> Let's do a tour. I, okay, so we just drove it to get here and I'm already in love with it. <laughs> it's like so perfect. I said, I like, I feel more safe on the road. I feel like I sit up higher. I can like look out and I just, I have space. Like I feel just so comfortable and I love it. So, okay, here we go. This is the tour. I like, you can adjust. There's a bunch of cool features. Like I can set up my phone to like answer and take calls like in here, which is pretty cool. Volume for radio search and channels is kind of like what your car has. And then we have cruise control and everything like over here to set up. It's perfect. And then right here, you can see the, the controls. 
Come here. <clears throat> See you bit. <laughs> yes, Mama. Congratulations. You would go to a different. back in the car again but this time in the new car here hey guys okay so I needed to film a wrap-up I was actually editing this video today and realized I never had like a proper wrap-up to this video so what better place to wrap up the video but now in my new car started the video in the old car and here we are in the new car and so when you're seeing this video you're actually seeing this this vlog was filmed like the day that I actually purchased the car was back in November. It was the day before Thanksgiving actually that I went and I purchased my brand new car. Just in my upload schedule you are now seeing this actually the week that I'm going to be using this car to move down to Florida. The end of this week is when I move and so this car is about to get all packed up with all of my things and everything that I'm taking for the move. So I'm so excited. This like I said in the beginning of this video buying this car really has symbolized like my this next chapter of my life you know going down to florida using it to move using it as my car down there that i'm going to be using to drive around disney and all these different places and everything so i also wanted to go ahead and say if you have any name suggestions for this car go ahead and leave them in the comments of this video i i still even though i've had this car now for about a month and a half i have still not like fully decided on a name so let me know. I'm thinking O'Meal because it's brown like a rat. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of O'Meal and he is my favorite from Ratatouille. Um, I also, I wanted to go over some of the name suggestions. I did ask on my Instagram, be sure you're following me on there. I asked for some name suggestions. I just wanted to say a couple of them here. Um, Abu, the monkey from Aladdin. Bambi, Lady, Pumbaa, O'Meal. Somebody said O'Meal. Sarge, Gus Gus. That one I loved. I think Gus Gus is so cute. Um, Walt, fun fact, Mickey, my cat was actually almost named Walt, um, Belle, Philippe from Beauty and the Beast, yeah, so those were a couple of the names, um, one that I also thought too, this one I kind of came up with, Moana, because I kind of thought it'd be fun to have like a princess name, and the color of this car is actually Kona bronze, so it's kind of like Hawaiian, it's, um, you know, Kona, Kona coffee, so it made me think about Moana. So maybe that could be the car's name. All right, guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So many things are happening right now. Get ready for just so much moving to Florida content. I am so excited. I just can't believe that this is happening, that this journey is about to begin. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Make today magical. And I will see you soon in the next vlog and in Florida. <laughs> Bye, guys.